to talk about other fractals, we're going to need to review a little arith complex arithmetic. Uh, and so let's start with this, simplifying the square root of 9. So the idea is we can write this as the square root of 9 times the square root of 1. And the square root of 9 is just 3. And the square root of negative 1 is that special imaginary number which we call i. And so the square root of negative 9, we're going to represent by 3i. Now, we can represent these complex numbers on the complex plane. Now, the complex plane, the horizontal axis is called the real axis, and the vertical axis is called the imaginary axis. The idea is, if you just want to plot a number, you just need a number line. But if you want to plot a complex number that has both a real and an imaginary part, then you're going to need two different directions. And that's why we have the complex plane. So 3 minus 4i, 3 is the real portion of this number, and the minus 4i is the imaginary part. And so we would put a dot on the complex plane, that is 3 in the real direction, horizontal, and negative 4, minus 4 in the imaginary direction, which is the vertical. And so this dot right here represents the number 3 minus 4i. Ok, so let's look at some more arithmetic here. Suppose I wanted to add 3 minus 4i. Uh, and I'm going to add that to 2 plus 5i. So when we add or subtract complex numbers, we just add the real parts and add the imaginary parts. So adding the real parts, 3 plus 2 is 5. Adding the imaginary parts, negative 4i plus 5i is plus 1i. So we could write that as 5 plus i. So now let's multiply 4 times 2 pl mi plus 5i. So we're going to distribute here, and we'll get 4 times 2, plus 4 times 5i, and 4 times 2 is 8. 4 times 5i, we can multiply the numbers. 4 times 5 is 20, and we get 20i, so 8 plus 20i. Now here, if we're going to multiply 2 plus 5i times 4 plus i, then we're going to need to distribute completely, which you might be familiar with as FOIL. Uh, so we're going to multiply 2 times 4, the first elements, 2 times 4 is 8. Then we're going to multiply the outer term, so 2 plus i is 2i. Then we're going to multiply the inner term, so 5i times 4 is 20i. And then we're going to multiply the last terms, and 5i times i is 5i squared. But this we can simplify, because remember, i is defined to be the square root of negative 1, so i squared would be negative 1. So, we're going to go ahead and combine these, since they're like terms, plus 5 times, and again, i squared is negative 1. So notice that this term ends up being real. So 5 times negative 1 is negative 5, 8 plus negative 5 is 3, and we end up with 3 plus 22i. Notice that the product of two complex numbers is itself, again, a complex number.